Welcome back, YouTube. This is the Tori Joe Show. You may see Tori Joe's story or Tori's story, but they're all one and the same because I'm Tori Joe. So this is part two of my first video. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm going to try to put a link somewhere so you can see the first one. My first video was about my surprise ancestry DNA results. But it also told about my surprise paternity results. Yes, so yes, I had two surprises. My ethnicity and my paternity. So yes, in my first video, I disclosed that I found out that my birth father was a play uncle to me throughout life. And both are deceased. So this is a pickup from that video and you can it's, it's, it's kind of long It was my first one and I'm so sorry. I didn't know this one will not be that long. I have learned Not too long. Just get to the point and get it out there. So I left off saying if you could relate Send me a message I really would appreciate it if someone would like or subscribe to my channel because this is something new and I am going to be active and I want to grow on YouTube. So I want to share my story. So this is just part two of that video. Today is February 22nd. And right now is I'm kind of going ancestry crazy. I'm checking ancestry every few minutes I mean I just I'm checking and the reason I'm checking is because my sister that I mentioned in my first video that lives right in my same town that I still have not met at all she is actually getting her DNA test results any minute now I'm gonna say minute because I'm hoping they come in tonight and this will confirm if we in fact our sisters she had been on ancestry doing her tree but she never did get her DNA test done so this is gonna be interesting because I'm pretty sure we I'm sure we are but there is another person that could possibly be the father you I mean there's always a possibility so we're gonna see what happens and when I get those results and I know for sure and we'll try to figure out what's what's gonna happen okay so that's We'll leave that there. I'm not going to even go into more detail because right now we're not talking right now. It's kind of weird. It's strange. I don't get it. I'm open. Um, but there's some past hangups and she can't seem to get past those past things. So it has stifled our relationship. And that's kind of sad because I was kind of excited about it. But you never know what the future holds. Never give up. I'm not giving up. I'm hoping that we can figure something out if we are, in fact, true sisters. So I will let you guys know when those results come in. But I would like to say I have been doing Ancestry. I am also on Family Tree and DNA. Now, I paid for my family tree DNA test back in November because with the new Ancestry uh, testing, you couldn't upload it to Family Tree DNA for the $40 that I kept seeing everywhere. They had a new system and so it wasn't compatible to load up to Family Tree DNA. But as of yesterday, hot off the press, February 21st, you can now download your already paid for Ancestry DNA, raw DNA, to Family Tree DNA. And from there, you may have other matches. Other people may have used Family Tree and DNA, and you may find closer matches, more matches. You know, brick walls may be busted through. Um, you know, so, and it's a different system. You do, it looks totally different than Ancestry. Um, but, it is what it is. So if you're so used to Ancestry, just know it's not going to be look the same at all, but it's okay. So now that I can do that for free, I'm going to get my husband's done because I did never transfer his over from Ancestry to FT and Family Tree DNA. So I'm going to do that soon. Um, and another thing is 
I don't know if you guys know about this, but there is there are some Facebook websites. I came across one today that has Ancestry DNA, Jed Match, GD Match, and FT DNA. Um, there's another uh, one, DNA Detectives, I believe, and that's really, so if you join one of these groups, you they're usually closed, but if you join one, they can be so informative when it comes to trying to figure out your results and the Cinemorgans and the relationships and you hear success stories and all kinds of good stuff. It's very invigorating and I love going through and watching that. So um, if you're a Facebook person, try that out. It's really simple. Um, GD Match is awesome too because everybody can download their results to GD Match. Anybody who did their um, test at 23andMe, Ancestry.com, um, Family Tree DNA, and there's a lot of other D DNA genetic systems that um, are doing DNA, and most of them. It's free to download your your raw DNA to GD Match, and when you do that. You will also get more people from different systems and in front of their number, maybe an M or a T or an A, and that stands for the actual test that they took their test through. So there's all kinds of different things. I mean, you'll feel like a straight up scientist. I mean, I have looked and read up on so much DNA. I never even, I wasn't even into science when I was in school, but right now, oh my God. I'm always looking up DNA stuff. I love it. It's like I, I should have been a Scientologist. No, not Scientologist. Scientist. Oh, not science. I am not. I don't know nothing about Scientology. Not trying to do that. So erase that. Erase. Anyway, um, so GD Match, D, GD Match is free, but they do have a tool at the bottom. If you go to the bottom where you can pay ten dollars a month. And they will do this thing called triangulation and they'll match up three people that match up on the same chromosome at the same spot and I'm assuming that means that you guys have some shared ancestors so something to look into another thing I've done with my DNA is dna.land yes these are some Colombian college students that run this DNA test DNA testing and um, it was cool. I was able to take my raw DNA from Ancestry.com, upload it to DNA.land, and I got my results very quickly. I was like, wow. Um, I did mention before my first video, they were off by like five percentage. Um, they had me as um, a lower percentage of African ancestry than Ancestry.com and a higher European. And it could be the pool that they have um, of people. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I, I'm going to go with Ancestry. I don't know. But anyway, so, so that's Ancestry.dna. And then, you won't believe this, but... I found a website that tests your DNA just like 23andMe does. Gives you health information. I didn't I didn't get the 23andMe test. I just couldn't afford that. Um, I went with the Ancestry. But if you download your information to Promeothase, P-R-O-M-E-A, T-H-A-S-E, I believe. Promeothase. You can upload it for for five dollars. I take that back. Five bucks. That's it. And they give you this layout. They send it to your email within like not long, ten minutes tops. I was like, wow. And then they give you this report of all your genes that from your raw DNA and what these genes could possibly mean, like. Um, my first one was, which this is deep, macular degeneration. It said I was six, six times or ten times likely to get macular degeneration. I didn't even know what it was. So I was like, you know, I googled it. My eyes, oh, I don't want to lose my eyesight, but that's what it said. So, and you know what? When I say, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, DNA. My real father, I found out my uncle, play uncle. That was my real dad. 
his eyes went bad around this age when he was working on his masters. I saw it in a newspaper article. So I'm not that's what I mean by we need to know even if it's a shocking surprise to find out the father you thought was your dad was not your dad, health wise it's kind of important. It is. So I am going to the eye doctor. <laughs> I already wear contacts and I can't see you take these things out and everything's a blur so I'm already jacked up with that but it is what it is and I'm glad that I was able to do that they have some more interesting things on Prometheus. Um, one thing that was so 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 exciting was this warrior gene yes I didn't even know there was a such thing as a warrior gene but there are things called warrior genes versus warrior like a person who worries w-o-r-r -R. well this is warrior w-a-r-r-i-o-r -R -R. and i got that i got it i got it i got it now if you read up on the warrior gene <laughs> if i was a male who was um, abused as a child it would make me very angry and, and i would probably act on that anger and i may be going to jail a lot if I was a male who had a bad childhood with this warrior gene because that's what they connect they say but I'm like wow I'm not even an aggressive type of person I don't know how it could be where is this coming from so I researched and I researched and found out that this warrior gene in females is the happy gene so yeah I got the happy gene I got the happy gene. I knew it was something. This is just who. This is me. I ain't had nothing. I, ain't, I don't drink or too much. You know, I ain't had to drink nothing. But anyway, this is coffee. I will say. Do you know that in my promio face report, it mentions that I metabolize caffeine slower than a normal person. <laughs> so I'm drinking coffee all day and I'm hyped out everybody I mean I'm, I love my coffee and I'm, I'm ready to go in the morning I'm like good morning let's get it going good morning good morning so I'm always that happy-go-lucky type of person been like this all my life I mean I got teased about it but I didn't care because this is me so anyway um, it even had in there about the coffee metabolizing slower and um, me with this warrior gen this happy gen that is the most exciting thing so I was so happy I used to always tell my family me and my mom and sister we have the happy gene because we always laughing and smiling and it takes a lot to upset to us so um, I'm thankful I had that happy gene because a lot of people say why are you always smiling <laughs> why are you so happy and i'm like i don't know i can't help it it's just me <laughs> um so yes that's with promio face so i would suggest you guys you know this kind of this this work right here is addicting and i'm in it to win it and when i say i'm in it i'm in it to win it so Whatever I find out, I want to share it with you guys. Right now, I'm on pins and needles, though, because I want to know if my alleged sister is really my sister. Um, I think we are. We both have this this gun thing in the gap. She showed me her kid picture, and boy, do we look. Our teeth are like the same. It's so weird. My children have this too. Did you know that this gap in the in the discoloration? is a sign of like that's something passed down never never thought about it but through all of this i just thought i had a gap <laughs> true story though when i went to jamaica for the first time years ago first and only time the guy told me you got the black gum in the open teeth and i was like yeah Ooh, I got the black gums and the open teeth. So that's part of my, I guess, my Cameroon Congo. If you really watch my first video, you'll see what part of Africa I come from. So anyway, I'm going to end this video now. I said I wasn't going to go that long, so I've cut it down to 14 minutes. Please like my page. Please subscribe. I would so appreciate it. Um, leave a comment, and I will respond. Um... This is very fun. I'm having fun doing this. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye, YouTube. I'll let you know the results when they come in. I'm hoping tonight. So we'll see. Okay. Take care. Bye.